Just an update for middle of August. I've really slowed down on operations and building and planting in the gardens in the back at this point in the year. I've got a couple of new experiments going and some middle-aged experiments here. We've got uh, a plant that I got from Alabama. My mom and her boyfriend went out there and visited his cousin and they came back with parts of a fig tree. So I'm just trying to, some of these had already little roots on them. So I'm trying to pot them and see if I can get them to germinate and grow or at least sprout roots. We'll see if we get lucky. Uh, lemon balm is starting to get fuller leaves. I've actually used that in tea recently. And the same thing with the mint. We got one bucket and another bucket, one's just a week planted earlier than the other. But the mint's coming in. Here is the terrace gardens I've made last, and they really have proven to be a good experiment. These get at least six, if not eight hours of sun, depending on the day and cloudiness and such, and really things have grown very, very well here, very quickly, much quicker than any other location in and amongst the trees where I have the rest of the garden park. Some things did well, but this area where there's sun all day did the best. You can see my uh, watermelon has grown just about six feet tall now behind my head and I've got watermelons on the trellis. This is one that I've already put in a bit of a hammock for itself and here's another under here that I've used the bags that you buy oranges with at the market that have maybe 15 oranges in them. I just save the bags, put twist and ties on the end and give the plant a break and hold the weight of the melon while it matures. I'll have another one to do down by the pole here maybe in a couple of days. And the cucumber is taking its time. It didn't quite keep up with the corn. The corn just went a little nuttier than the cucumber but it's slowly I think in the morning time when it gets most sun, especially that one over there, it's starting to catch up. It'll be as high as the corn, I guess, before long. And the corn, one of them is over seven feet tall. That one down on the end there. And the rest are about anywhere from six to five feet. Here's another tall one here. That one's about six feet. So it's doing very well. This is colorful corn, or what they call ornamental corn. I think this is all you'll find if you were traveling in India, but that's their common diet there. It's actually a bit sweeter than our yellow hybrid variety, I believe. Just a little bit tougher. And we've got black beans in there. Peas coming up on this trellis. We'll see if they do any better than they did along the back fence. So, that's just the general idea of things have changed. You might be able to see in an earlier video I uploaded the building of these terraces early a few months ago and this is those terraces now filling in with produce for the first time. You can see quite a lump of corn with a front of black bean on this terrace. Lots of back black beans. Squashes and they just didn't seem to do so well amongst the black beans. Maybe they got too many black bean seeds in there and choked them out. And some lettuces in here but they're not getting enough light now that everything else is way bigger than them. So I'm not gonna worry about them. I'm just gonna let the corn and the black beans around the perimeter go. Got a couple knocked down in a storm yesterday. Looks like I gotta put up. That was good to see. Well, that's the terrace and grass filled in nicely on the ramp I made. Sort of a ramp slash terrace area here to match the slope of the property. These are the bricks I found buried in the backyard as landfill. So, just mowed the lawn yesterday so everything's nicely cut. Got flowers, this is really just decorative all this garden here. But here is the original number one garden. It's start starting to look a lot like it did before I planted. Well, the radishes, my corn experiment here, 
all the sunflowers, all that, the growth sort of stunted right down to nothing. It's so shadowed and because of this pin oak above us, uh, everything stopped growing here. The only thing to start growing again is about just as you get out from underneath that pin oak, over here you start getting tomatoes. Peppers are still doing okay here. Peppers are growing on the vine. I've got chili peppers of different kinds growing and amongst bell peppers. We'll see if the bell peppers got spicy. And quite a load of cherry tomatoes. You can see there's loads of them on the vine. There's probably almost 200 here to pick today which I'll do later and I'll make a sauce with them. And we've got some more pepper plants, some of them. Like this one here is five feet tall. And starting to get peppers on them finally. So we'll get some peppers out of this garden yet. The hour of light here is short, maybe hour and a half, two hours. So there really isn't a long schedule of light in this. Although it does get some, which is better than what I can say for the rest of that first garden over there. It gets none in the summer. This was all the lettuces I planted. There's the Brussels sprouts. They're still doing well. They haven't... Well, they haven't bolted yet or shown any stalk that has the Brussels sprouts on them. But I reckon it's coming quite soon. You can see... Some of them have had bugs, some of them had no bugs. They're starting to look a little bit like cabbage plants. They're obviously much taller and got a funnier shape than cabbage plants. But we'll see. Still got a while to go in the summer here, middle of August. Here's all turnips, turnip greens growing, where there used to be the first crop of corn. I boiled all that for five minutes to pasteurize it and then cut the kernels off the cob and put that up in the freezer for the winter. Oh, we've got catnip, big patch of catnip there. Sage and lavender. Lavender's still taking its time. Haven't got any big lavender plants or flowers yet. This is a patch of hot pepper that uh, I haven't been completely got caught up on staking them up yet. One of them's falling over. And this is fennel. Been having all sorts of fennel and teas this year and in food. And there is the cilantro, and the seeds of the cilantro is coriander, and you can see there are thousands. I've already collected a few hundred seeds after they dry out here on, the, on their little vines. I pick the little dry husks off and I store them, and boy is that delicious. Mild version of cilantro, but much tastier. There, here's the dill, about four and a half foot tall umbrella. It's bolted, and it's already starting to make dill seeds on some of them. Uh, the rest is still flowering, and there's bugs on this plant all the time. They love the dill. So I'll be collecting seeds off of that soon, I reckon. And the speckled butter bean is all doing well. We're getting beans starting to show up. Thin plate right now, but they'll be filling out, getting fat and whole with butter beans in them. Oh, in a week or two, I'm sure. I have to come out here and start uh, looking for plump beans to harvest. But there's going to be a lot of them down that row, as you can see. I hope so. Hell, I spent a dollar forty buying that bag of seeds. <laughs> no, it should be nice. Oh, we got here. There's rosemary. That one's getting to be pretty tall. Yeah, that's about 300 millimeters, or 30 centimeters now. All the chamomile is looking quite bleak now. It all dried out and died back. Just one plant, making one flower left, I think. Maybe a few more flowers will come up. One more cup of tea or two. For the middle of August here, and I'll, I'll not have any more chamomile. Season's over. At least here it is. Look at these tamarind plants. They're doing quite well. They're starting to branch out and fill out and thicken in their surrogate location here. We're going to have to transplant them probably this fall before they get too root-bound on each other. 
be great to have three tamarinds growing. And we've got here, this is the globe artichoke. Still waiting for it to bolt and show some artichoke globes come up. So far it's still vegetating, making leaves, making gestures like it's going to do something and nothing yet, but we'll see. So, there's the garden for now. Thanks for watching.